Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm just gonna it's gonna be a little bit of a, a log of some conversions I've been working on, um, but I might be doing these regularly, but I'm not sure yet. But we'll see how it goes. So this is uh, Birder. I'm, I'm, I'm halfway through doing an unboxing of Birder, um, but I want him to be on the base, which is quite a heroic pose kind of thing. Uh, and a while ago I press molded um, a statue, one of the old Games Workshop statues for the Lord of the Rings range and I used a, a Milliput and green stuff mix which gives it quite, uh, gives it quite a brittle consistency it means you can break it up and make it into rubble and that's what I've done with this so This is um, something I've been wanting to do for a while, but it looks really good. Uh, I like the um, how the chips come out. Um, however, being a metal model and a cave troll, it's quite a single pose on the legs. So I've got the saw, used to um, cut down his leg, but not gone all the way through um, because I've left the other side. So I've been able to bend it. We go. So it's bent. Uh, I've got a bit of touching up to do because I, I've damaged this leg a little bit. However, that will be able to go on like that into the base. So I'll get that all glued up and fixed up and built, and I shall see you uh, in a second. Hey guys, okay, so uh, another thing I've been doing this week is that I'm just, I want to finish off these other old wool grinders I've got, and so far I'm going to be you know, sculpting the rest of the fur on them. But I've got this gun, but I also want to get the other one, um, which is, I know it's unavailable, but it's, uh, I know someone who's got it, so I'll be getting that. Um, but I want to convert this guy so he's carrying a shield, but I don't want to just stick a shield. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the foot model here. If you see how his arm kind of stands, I'm going to cut the hand up there, I'm going to bend the arm round so he's kind of doing that and the same with the guy on horse on, on walk sorry um, just so it doesn't look like the shield's just been stuck on but you'll probably see in a second how if or if I've achieved that um, and I'm also going to finish off sculpting these like, round and the fur. This is a banner that I've been in progress. Um, that's actually a Warhammer piece that I thought would be a good banner. A bit of pole and added some shields on. As you can see, these are the wall riders themselves. So that's just to finish off all the metal ones which I picked up. So I've got all the poses. And oh yeah, one more over here. Also, I'm working on a captain from the other body of Shagra. No gore bag, sorry and a spare head off that conversion sprue so I'm going to be sculpting around making up the armour plates um, perhaps a cloak I haven't really decided yet but I might just do armour plates so guys that's that's with how far I've got along with these guys um, to add to the rest of my Mordor army so catch you in a second Hey guys, well, this is the second part of the update with, uh, as far as Gotham is concerned. So what I've done is I've sculpted around his walk. If I just zoom in right there. So I cut off his hand, which was attached to the walk, and pulled it up. I had a Goblin Town hand. Um, sculpted around, just make sure we're filling all the gaps. 
And similar to this captain, with the red eye, I'm going to do, I've done pretty much the same with these. But these, these are completely made from sculpting stuff, which are made from a press mold from a shield, and I sculpted on the wood pattern. And I might do a video on how to do that, how to do wood, because it's quite, quite an easy trick. But I've added these armor plates. Uh, try to make them as same as possible, so like they are pretty much the same shield. So I've got one for the foot mounted model. Oh, sorry, the foot model, one for mounted. And this is the other one, which is arm was before. As you can see the damage done to there, which we're going to have to build up again. Um, bent up, and I've filed down his arm, ready to receive the shield, and then I'll put some uh, straps behind them. Well that's Gothmog so far, so I'll glue a shield on and I'll get back to you probably when I've sculpted the straps as well. So guys, here we go, let's just have a closer look. The red eye, the bolts, and uh, the metal plates which I'm going to paint all rusty. really like it. Okay guys, catch you in a second. So guys, here's the progress with what I've been doing. Um, there's Birder. This is up where he's up to at the moment. Uh, I painted, started painting him. Um, so that's him stepping on the on the statue. Really like the pose now. Uh, as you can see, there it's been sculpted at the back. Well, you can't see because it's blended quite nicely. go so there's little rough patches up there actually sculpted and the finished goth mug is glued on straps are all done so I really like this now with the shield it just looks quite menacing uh, quite an interesting shield design as well will make him stand out from the, the regular troops and I put him onto this base as well so that's it so guys thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next video which i'm going to do a spotlight on my orcs and converting orcs and basically when you have lots of orcs what do you do to make them not look the same so guys thanks for watching again uh, take care of yourselves and i'll see you in the next video